So now we are going to start with the CSS part of this project which is our digital clock application. So for that we need to use the style.css file. So right now you can see inside our style.css file nothing is actually typed. So the first element that we are going to style is the container element. This is the this main container that act as a parent for the other elements. So we are going to start with the first container. So here I am going to type in the container. And then I'm going to start the block of the container. Also, I'm going to close verify the name of the container. I'm going to copy this and I will be pasting it here so that it doesn't give me any error. Okay, the first property that we need is actually the display property. So display I'm going to use the flex. If I do that, then you can see both of the elements is now pairing in the single row. Then after that, I need to provide the flex direction property. So flex direction I'm going to provide the column. Okay, and then after that, I will using here a justify content is actually going to be center. If I save it, and then align items is actually going to be the center. So now you can see they are actually appearing at the center of the screen. Okay, so that is why I did that. Where is our window? This is the window. I actually forgot to resize it again. So I'm going to resize it and so that you can see the code output while I'm typing it inside the CSS part. Okay, and next property we actually need to specify the height. So height is going to be like 100 vh which is view height. Okay, and if I control save it then you can see this is now perfectly at the center of the screen. And then after that we need to specify the background color. So background color here will be using the hexadecimal notation code which is the D3. Not add three, it is like D3 and capital D and capital D3. So this will be the color code we are going to use for the container. Now you can see, you can see the default styling of the browser which is the body element. So we need to style the default style of the body means restyle it or we can say that the remove the default style of the browser from the body. So to do that, for, for that we need to select the body selector. So I am going to select the body selector at the top and modify its content so the first thing is we need to use the margin property so here i will be using the margin is actually going for the zero and then padding is actually zero and then i need to use the border style property border style is going to the box border uh, i can say that is the border box okay so if i save it then you can see the padding is the default styling is removed so that we actually want. Now the next step is we need to style the card element which will be the main card so that we can make the our application look like this. So for that we need to select the card. So here I will be using the dot card card and then opening the body of the card element. Inside of that first I need to specify the background color. So background color is going to be like hashtag FFF which is for the complete white. Okay, so this will be our card element and instead of that first I also need to specify the border property. So border radius is going to like 13 pixel and then I need to specify the box shadow. So box shadow is like 0 pixel and then 0 pixel and then from 10 pixel we actually want it and I will be using here RGBA function which is 0, 0, 0 and then here I will be using 0 0.5. If I save it then you can see we have then you can see this is the this is actually not styled we are going to do that also but first we need to style the this card and the h1 element we are going to style one by one and later on our application will look like this okay the application that we want to build and after that we need to add the border property as well so for the border i will be using here two pixel border which is a solid border and the color is going to be like hashtag 632 and we have df8 so this will be the color we are going to use for the border and after that I am going to specify the max width property so max width is going to be like 400 pixel okay now after specifying the max width property you can see this card has a border as well the rounded border but there is a one problem you can see these timer elements which is our span element is not appearing inside the card the reason for that is actually we have actually forgot to add it inside the card element because right now this is a separate two elements so we need to add this block 
div inside this card div as well. So I'm going to just simply cut this code from here and paste it inside the card div because these two are the child of the card then it will be inside the card and if I save it then you can see now the timer elements is appearing inside the card one okay so now it's time to style the h1 element because we have fixed the problem so the first thing is we need to select the h1 element so I'm directly going to select with the tag selector name and inside of that first I need to specify the font size but there is no need to specify the font size because h1 has the maximum height and width so we are going to ignore this property right now i just use it for the experimental purpose so text design property i'm going to use this center and after that i'm here using the background property so background is going to be like uh, okay so here i actually need to use the background color because we are not using the any image okay so we are using here a background color so the color we are going to use this same color which is this blue one because we are going to this is the same the border that we have specified you can see this is the color we get it now we need to modify it so the first is we need to add the another property which is padding from top so padding from top is going to like 10 pixel and then padding from bottom also is going to like 10 pixels so i have actually don't used here a shorthand property of the css i just simply specifying the property manually because i need to adjust it if I do that, then you can see this is actually appearing at the screen of as well. So don't worry, we are going to fix it one by one. You can see this is the corner is appearing. This is not a corner for this one. This is actually the border corners. We are going to fix all of this one by one. And then we need to add the margin bottom property. So margin bottom is going to like 10 pixel. And then we need to use the overflow. So it's going to be like hidden. So once I do that, then you can see overflow hidden property is actually displaying its result. And then we need to specify the color. So color I'm using here a white color, which is FFF. And then we are getting the here a white color of the digital clock. Okay, guys. And then after that, here we need to use the border radius property. So the border radius is going to like 10 pixel. And then we need to use here a 10 pixel. And then after that, here I'm using the zero pixel and then zero pixel if i do that then you can see the corner edges is actually fixed okay so this is for the our main header part the main label part okay so here you can see this digital clock okay so we are going to fix one by one now it's time to specify the code for the clock one so this is a clock element okay so i'm going to copy this one and uh, coming back to the css file so here i will be writing here clock and I start the body of the element and first I need to specify the padding so padding is going to like 25 pixel if I control save it then you can see the border element is taking some space okay and then I'm going to use the display property so we are going to use the display flex if I do that then nothing is changed I think so we need to use the align property as well align items at the center so align item center and then I need to specify the margin bottom property. So margin bottom is going to like 10 pixel. Okay, so this is actually working fine. Then we need to add the time element. So we have our time element. Okay, so the span classes that is our this time element. So we're going to provide the style for that as well. So the first thing we need to add here a font size property. So font size is going to like 48 pixel okay and then after that we need to add here a font weight property so font weight is going to be like uh, our bold and then we need to add here a color property which is used to change the color of the font so i'm going to use here a black so zero 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 okay and after that i need to here specify the margin property so margin is going to like zero pixel and then we need to use the 10 pixel so from left and right is going to like 0 pixel and from top and bottom is going to like 10 pixels. You can see it's actually now appearing perfectly. Okay. And then I need to here use the another which is a colon element which is used to actually style these colons. Right now they are actually very tiny and small. Okay. So I'm going to write here an element. So here I have forgot mistaken with name. And then instead of that I'm going to specify the same property coming back and just only reducing the size of the font 
So you can see now this is what our digital clock looks like. The CSS part same as it is like this one. The only difference is that this one has a like a, I actually resized the font of this one and inside of that I didn't do that. So you can do it as per your need if you want. So that's it for the CSS part of this particular project which is our digital clock. So our next step is to add the JavaScript to this project.